please do subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for more tutorial videos. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel Backbenchers Classroom. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to install Windows 11 operating system on your laptop and desktop. Here, I'm going to use virtual machine where I will install Windows 11 operating system. And guys, please watch this video if you don't know how to download genuine Windows 11 operating system. And watch this video if you don't know how to install, download and configure the virtual machine on your computer. Guys, you can find both video links in the description. And guys, if you haven't subscribed the channel yet, please do subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for more videos like this. As well as, you can find us by using this hashtag Backbenches Classroom using on the internet. So without wasting time, let's get started. Okay guys, let's open the VM virtual box first and then from here you have to open this Windows 11 option. Okay, before that we have to go to the setting option of that virtual machine and then go to the storage option. Now here we have to add ISO file over here. Okay, so click this option to add a new storage. Okay, now click on optical drive and then here is my Windows 11 software. If it's showing empty to you, then click on add option and then search for the Windows 11 and then click on open button. Okay, and then click on choose option. Okay, as you can see, the Windows 11 ISO file has added over here. Okay, now click on OK button. So our virtual machine is completely ready with ISO file. Now click on start button to deploy the Windows 11 installation. Okay. Okay, now press any key to continue the virtual box Windows 11 installation. Now now guys, you have to wait until it finishes. And guys, sometimes it takes much time to load. Okay. Okay guys, as you can see, here is our windows. Okay. Now, guys, if you proceed for the next, you may face some system compatibility issues. So let's check out what issues we have gonna face during installation. So guys, click on next and then click on install now option to proceed the installation. And then click I don't have a product key if you don't have any product key or if you have then you can simply write it over here. Okay. Then choose any edition that you want to install on your system. Now click on next option. So guys here is the error. This PC doesn't meet the minimum system requirement. Okay. So guys if you face the same issue while installing Windows 11 either on host system or virtual box then carefully follow the video because solution steps are the same for both let's close this virtual machine and turn it off okay now again start that machine and then again you have to press any key on your keyboard to continue the process and now guys you have to keep wait until shows the next window so guys, when this window will appear on your computer screen, press Shift plus F10 button on your keyboard to open command prompt, okay? And then write for the command regedit to open the registry editor, okay? Now follow the path. First, expand H key local machine, then expand security, and then expand system setup. Here as you can see three files are there just right click on the setup option go to the new and create a key and name it as lab config write the same as I am writing here okay guys don't make any mistake while writing or don't give any other name okay okay after that again over in this blank page right click on that click on new and then Click this one to create a key. This file, okay? Dword 32 bit value. Open this key. Now name it as bypass, then TPM, then check. Okay? Now double click on it. 
and change the value 0 to 1. Okay. And then click on OK button. Again, create another one of same key. Here, you have to write the name as bypass secure boot check. Okay. Bypass secure boot check and then again do the same with this. Just change the value from 0 to 1. Again, create another one key. Now here, again give the file name as bypass ram and then check. Okay. Again set the value of this key. Now, you just need to close this window. Now, close this window. Okay. Now, click on next button to proceed. Again, click on install now option. Now, guys, again, click on I don't have a product key option. Now, choose your any addition that you want to install. As you can see, guys, after completing those steps, now here, I'm not getting any compatibility issues okay so check and click next now click this one option and then here we have to allocate this disk space so create a new option and then click on apply button to allocate that this space okay now we have to install windows 11 on this primary drive so select this and click on next option to install so guys our installation has started now wait until the process finishes okay so guys, I'm going to fast forwarding this video to reduce the video length, okay? So guys, our installation has finished. Now we have to restart the system. Let's restart the system or it will automatically restart, okay? So guys, our operating system is getting ready now. So we have to keep wait. So guys, I'm going to fast forward this video again to reduce the time. Guys, our Windows installation has completed. Okay, now we have to complete some basic instruction which will appear on the Windows screen. Okay, now select the country first, then click yes option. Now select your keyboard input method and then click on yes option again. If you want to add second keyboard then you can add or simply skip this. Now name your device. Okay. Now click on next option. Now guys it will restart again. Okay. Now guys here you have to sign in with your any Microsoft account or Gmail account. Okay. Guys after typing the email click on next and then type the password. And then click next option again. Guys after successful login you have to create a pin for your Windows login. Okay. So guys input the pins and then click on OK button. Okay guys, now you have to click on this setup as new device and then click on next option. Then you can check or uncheck this location other options if you don't want it and then click next option. Okay, again next option, again click on accept option. Now. For which purpose you are you want to using Windows 11? You can select anyone or just simply skip this. Now click on next option. Now just decline this as we don't want Microsoft 365 over here. And then skip this for now. We can add all the features later. Now it will checking for the updates. 
and then there is our windows gonna start after this instruction our windows will be open okay you should wait till the open get uh, till the windows get open so there is your windows guys so guys that's how you can install windows 11 on any computer even the computer not compatible with this software okay so guys if you like the video please do subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon thank you for watching